almost makes me laugh to think about connections. Those of, those of us who have taught kindergarten and first grade and second grade in our years and are still in classrooms now know that you can hear some of the funniest things <laughs> in the world when you have children to make connections. But when they make those connections, now we know we need to help them make them for meaningful reasons. Uh, so, you know, in the past, I always did a lot of making connections, like I would activate prior knowledge, make lots of connections. But I've found, since the research is kind of shifting in the other way, that it's really just as valuable and, uh, and just as exciting when you can give them something first and then have them begin to make connections. Mm -hmm. And they give informed connections and connections that deepen their understandings of things that they're reading. And, and they still come up with, my mama said, well, my daddy, yeah. and that's okay. That's, that's what makes it real to them because you know, learning will not take place if there's not some emotional connection there and a connection of understanding why am I learning this and how is this gonna help me to uh, move forward or to access something else or to understand another concept or read another book. Or I, I like this character because this reminds me of something that happens in my house. Doesn't get better than that.